Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to open the BIOS settings on your Windows 7 computer. And this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and it hopefully will be able to help resolve your issue. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to restart your computer. So if your computer is already turned off, it doesn't really matter, you just want to turn on your computer and you want to look up what key you're supposed to press for your BIOS settings depending on your motherboard. So I'd recommend looking up your specific computer manufacturer and seeing if you can find out what the key is. If you'd rather not do that, the two most common keys are going to be the F2 or the delete key. So I'm just going to put that out there. So I'm going to start tapping on the F2 key while my computer restarts. Again, the delete key is also pretty common as well. But without knowing what specific kind of computer you're running, what the manufacturer is, it's impossible for me to tell you one fit, fits all kind of situation here. But there's only a few different keys it could possibly be, so it shouldn't be that difficult anyway. Okay guys, so now I've entered the boot menu and you can select by using the arrow keys. You want to scroll down to get to enter setup. You can use your arrow keys on your keyboard. You want to scroll down or click down until you get to enter setup. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard while you're highlighting over the enter setup area. And there you go guys, we have entered the BIOS. In order to navigate through the BIOS settings, use your arrow keys again to go from tab to tab. And the up and down will change where you are on any given page. If you wanted to change something, you would hit enter and you can follow along with the key at the bottom of the screen. You can see enter will select and view the submenu. So by clicking on that, like I said before, it'll open up the submenu. And you can always go back by clicking on the escape key, which will take us back to the previous page. So pretty straightforward guys. I don't know exactly what you're trying to do in this bio setup, but if you're trying to change the boot order, you just scroll over to the boot tab up at the top, and then this will give you the boot order for your device. Now if you wanted to boot off of a CD or DVD, all you would do if you wanted to change the boot order that is, you would select the CD-ROM, you would just hit enter to select it, you would click the plus sign as you can see at the key at the bottom to change the value, and then we'll move it up and the subtraction sign will move it down. So once you've made your change, if you are making any changes in the BIOS, you want to hit the F10 save and exit. And again, it might be different depending on your specific specifications, but the general gist should be the same. And then you'll be prompted to save configuration changes and exit now. When hit enter, yes. All right, guys. And once you've exited out of the BIOS, your computer should boot up as normal. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.